With the perfect placement kit and the My Lace Maker software, this is what you can create. Keep watching and learn how. Okay, everyone. Last week, I did a video on the perfect placement kit. Uh, precision embroidery placement. Look at all these. They're gorgeous. And today, we're going to finish the job and take it to the machine. Now, if you remember, with the perfect placement, I'm lining it up on the inside here. Hopefully, you can see that. And right here is where I'm going to place my sticker. This is the center of the monogram, which is what we're doing today, and it fits perfectly. So everything's lined up. We can put our template back and let's hoop it. All right, so normally on something like this, we would use a cutaway, but because, can you see how thin this is? Because it's so thin, no matter what we do, it's going to show through. So we are going to use some fibrous water soluble stabilizer. This one happens to be heavy duty, but it's okay. And we're going to be using the four by four hoop. So when you're embroidering on a napkin, you or, or a handkerchief or anything thin and delicate, you have to make sure your design is appropriate for it. You can't be doing a you know, heavy duty design, you're going to get into trouble. So my design, I'm going to show you when I take it to the machine. Now, everyone knows I have a McDreamy, which is fine. Um, you could put your snowman stickers and have the uh, embroidery machine recognize it. But I'm going to show you guys what to do on the dream machine without the sticker. So I have lined it up. Just kind of, you know, that's good right there. Now you can't do any spray and I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't anyways, I wouldn't pin anything. There's a little bit of bubblies there. So we're going to do that again. That's okay. Don't always get everything right on the first time. Um, what's nice actually is that you can see right through it. So you, that's why it's kind of a little bit easier to line up. I probably should have ironed it, but you know, nah, <laughs> nah, I'll make do. There might be a little bump, but I think we're going to stitch through it. And this should work. That's, you know, pretty accurate. I think that's good. I'm going to hold this a little bit. You got to make sure you don't stretch anything. I just gently pulled it along. And if you want to tighten up little goobery points like I did, then just be careful that you don't stretch it out at all. See, I can see some of the fabric stretching and we don't want that. We just want to be really careful about it. Um, it would work better for me if I had ironed it, but I didn't, so there we go. So now we're all hooped. That was not hard. We don't have to perfectly line this up. You can by using the template, but let's take it to the machine. Okay, so now we have everything hooped. Oh, I see a problem. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, that looks a little bit better to me. <laughs> Did you guys see what the problem was? The foot, obviously I'd been sewing the last time uh, and I didn't change the embroidery foot. So there we go. Now this, I had it folded under before I brought it to Mr. Machine. Uh, my dream machine too so a little bit fiddly there and there we go now you see that's not centered on it but we are gonna fix that okay here we go so this is the design I created and it's really pretty and it is from my lace maker and I just set up two designs two of these tulips they're gorgeous lace so nice and light and I copied them and then I turned them around. I put just a standard font in there and this is a little bit of motif stitches. So I'm thinking that's really cute for a created monogram. I love it. Be original, right? So, okay, let's, uh, we're ready to stitch. It's in the four by four hoop. Now placement. There are a few ways you can do that with this machine. And if you don't have all these fancy bells and whistles, it's also really easy because you can just eyeball it. 
and that's pretty cool you see the yellow the green x there that's where our needle is so all we have to do here is just go over just a little bit till it lines up so that's how you can use the regular placement stickers if you have a snowman go ahead and put the snowman on and i can see it's lined up here and here so that's easy enough the other way you could do it is to um scan the whole thing now we can do that if you want let's see needle drop position so you can trigger that on and off so if you can't see behind it look you can see it's perfectly placement stickers are awesome so we've got that lined up nicely that's perfect and it's still gonna fit in our hoop so I'm happy about that so let's do it this way so this is the button that you press and the frame will move to be scanned with the built-in camera yes please and it's gonna be quick because it's only a 4x4 four four. now look at that now you can see exactly that it is in the middle let's stitch this out now because we're using water soluble stabilizer I want to use the same colored bobbin as the thread so the back will look nice as well it'll be backwards but it'll be nice as well because we won't have any stabilizer left now remember this is only only with very very delicate handkerchiefs or napkins this is this one's really light so let's stitch it out i'm so excited fast forward go dream machine Isn't that gorgeous? Look, let me bring it up to you guys. So you can so you can see how beautiful this is. Now look at the back. It's equally as beautiful. I won't I'm gonna trim these because I put tie-ons on everything. Um, but I'm gonna trim it and because I used a matching thread on the bobbin, it's perfect. Now I see a little bit of pulling on the fabric, but you know what? When you take it out it's absolutely perfect and it's placed 
perfectly and it's gorgeous gift that you can do so quickly. All you have to do now is cut off the WSS, soak it so it looks good, let it air dry and then put a covering cloth on it and iron it down and it'll be amazing. So I'm glad I chose the purple. I like to be a little different on things. I think this looks amazing. My lace maker plus the perfect placement equals amazing. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy stitching. Ooh, not quite by yet. It's giveaway time. I need a good design style. And here's what we're giving away. Monogram Frames and Borders Mini Collection. These designs are stunning. They look amazing. Look at what I did with them. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts. They're just beautiful. So comment with the word monogram for your chance to win on this video.